Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Cain Self Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. In this video, I want to cover a simple, fast strike that's quick, easy, and it complements the cane and explains why carrying the cane is such a great self defense tool to have. And I'm talking about a simple tip on the floor, swinging strike. Now, there's kind of two ways you can do this strike. Now, number one, tip on the floor means exactly that. The cane is not already in my hand and it's not ready to swing. It's just simply right here. Now, if I have like a half a second and I realize something's going to happen, I can do that. If something happens faster than I'm getting expected to, I can do that. Now, the only difference that I did was the placement of my hand on the crook. The first thing I did was I start to realize they're going to do something. Maybe they started to move a little slower. So I was able to adjust my hand down, bring my cane up, and strike. Kind of like this. Simply, and we've done this hundreds of times. I simply shifted down, got my grip. I moved forward and I struck them. Now, the second one I did was just a hair faster and that they started to kind of catch me off guard and I might, you know, I might want to step back. So I simply did not readjust my grip, kept it on the top and I swung. So from here and I swung. Now, the difference between where I'm gripping matters a little bit. It matters in how hard I'm hitting. Because if I have it on the top here and I hit, it starts to shift my cane a bit. And we talked about that in the past. If I had that second and chamber down, I have more of a solid swing. Now, what I like about tip of the floor and what makes it such a great technique is when you're carrying another self-defense tool or weapon, let's say your gun, you got a concealed weapons permit. You actually need to either A, go where your holster is, go into your shirt. If you have it in some kind of a bag, pull it out and then you're ready to go. B, if you have a knife, you gotta grab your knife, pull your knife out and have it ready to go. The gun, you gotta have it cocked and loaded. The knife, you gotta have it deployed. Well, the cane is already chambered. It's already locked and loaded. It's already deployed. It is simply right here. It just depends where you strike, whether you go forward, backwards, left, right, how fast you strike. So from here, if I start to realize there's a problem, I just simply choke down. And I'm gonna close the gap I know he's reaching for something. So as I, as I move forward, I close the gap and then I strike. So I'm sitting here like this, it's on the floor, boom. No chambering, no nothing. Bam, it's a quick one. They start to step a little bit, catch me off guard maybe. Maybe, you know, they're talking, all of a sudden they got aggressive and I got to step backwards. Now my grip is on top of my crook. So again, you have it where it's on top of the crook and you can swing. That just means you're not gonna have the strength grip as you do when you chamber down. And that's it, really. The speed will be a half a second faster if you don't have the chamber down. But what you can do to create that speed is as you move forward, you're chambering down. So as I move forward, I'm chambering down. Watch my body. The other one is just simply from here. So tip on the floor is a great technique because you're already armed, locked, and loaded. You just gotta squeeze that trigger. Boom, that's it. So practice the technique for speed. I can sit here and come up into their groin. If they're coming in, pop it straight up. I can simply pop it to the head whether I'm chambering down or keeping my hand on the crook, I can go to the ribs, I can go to the knees. So it's a fast, quick technique. Now, granted, 
when I'm swinging it and I got a better grip, I have more stabilizing power. But I did a video the other day with two hands striking for power. This one's a little bit more speed. Now, I'm gonna stun him. I'm gonna hit him in the head, stun him. That's gonna allow me the time to either get away or if I must, continue with an additional attack. But we all know if we strike somebody in the head, a lot of times it's gonna give us time to get away, especially if we don't hit him super hard. We hit him pretty good, there's a strong chance of killing that individual. Hitting in the ribs, get a good shot in the ribs, maybe when they can't breathe, pop that knee, and they're gonna limp a little bit. It's gonna give you time to get away. So practice speed as well. We talked about power in the last video, let's talk about speed. And even if you don't have a lot of speed, and if you can't raise that can up really high, get it to go low. Pop that knee and step back. You don't have to go high all the time. And remember, you have different zones. And one day I'm gonna cover the complete zones for you in a video coming up. But pop that knee, pop those ribs, hit side of the head. These three areas when you're swinging, are going to be good. If you know, if you catch him in the arm, it's going to hurt, but it's not going to have. Remember, I'm I'm trying to get that momentum going with one hand. It's not going to have that power technique as a two hand strike. So with the, when I swing it, if I can get him in the ribs, it's going to be better than catching him in the arm. Don't get me wrong; it's still going to hurt. If you get him in the elbow and get lucky, yes. But if you catch him right around here, and they lift up, and you kind of catch him here, it's going to hurt but it's not gonna have the stopping power as hitting them in the head, ribs, or knee. So again, practice tip on the floor. One more time. If I wanna be extremely fast or more of a defensive situation, as they approach me, you know, I can chamber down and swing. Don't get me wrong, you can. But if just to be a hair second faster, just swing it. If you're gonna go forward, you can chamber down a little bit. R, just swing it. So, and practice it in your left hand. Same thing as much as your right. So practice tip on the floor. It's great, it's quick, it's right when you're walking around, you're already locked and loaded. So as I always say, take this technique, practice it, make it yours. And Gary, thank you, and I will see you guys very soon.